I've heard that since the foundation of the East European Monetary Commission, the GMP of member states has risen by 38%. Look, leave all that to the bureaucrats and the economists, Jess. Your job here will not involve you in exchange rates or monetary theory. But the Commission plays a vital role in regulating the currencies of the Eastern Alliance states. Look, if you want to get on in technical services, Miss Pike, you best forget your fancy economic theories. It's all hands-on graft here. Four two double eight dash three. Impressive, isn't it? Hmm? Entire buildings run from here. Communication, security, heating, lighting, air conditioning, the lot. Including the gold vault. What do you know of any vault? Simply that the gold in it validates the Commission's currency transactions. Without it, all those currencies would collapse. You say so. You're the one with a university degree. All I know is that the vault is a completely self-contained underground facility. So I won't see the vault. <laughs> Not until you reach the senior grade, you won't know. Now, only hand-picked men, sorry, hand-picked staff, are allowed anywhere near the gold vault systems. Right, now then, look here. This is a diagrammatic representation of the Commission's entire computer network. Instant promotion. I'm in. Stage one complete. Good. Now, Pike, let our friends loose. reached the trading network and the global bank interface. Well, we must stop it now. If it reaches the core data, all our client states will be ruined. We'll be unable to regulate their currencies. It will be the biggest economic disaster in history. It's working already. The Eastern European currency markets cannot function without the Commission's computerized trading network. Except, of course... The Baltic mark. Excellent. Now all I have to do is get out of here. Hi! What are you doing? Resigning. The computers are dying. What have you done? Release technology beyond your comprehension. get into the system. Oh, there was an intruder. A man's been killed. Everything happened so fast. How long since the first computer failure? 22 minutes. Our maintenance computers crashed first, then the trading networks. We've nine minutes until total systems failure. If it is a computer virus, Ross, wouldn't the effect be instantaneous? Not necessarily. If it's a semi-intelligent program, it may need time to do its stuff. Your first problem is that our security setup's also computerized, and that's gone down, locking all the security doors. Our environmental and security suites in here. Now, if we could just get in there, we might be able to make a start. Voice activated. The system's down. It's useless. I wouldn't bank on it. What you've got to do is bypass the voice recognition unit. 
Even our security consultants assure me that even without power, these locks are impregnable. What? Better get yourself some new security consultants. There, you can see we've lost all computer function on floors one, two, and three. Our core data is on level 10. If we lose that, the Eastern European Monetary Commission would completely cease to function. The only worst case scenario would be if we were to lose all the gold reserves themselves. We'll just have to stop it then. I'm decoupling the network around level eight. That should create a kind of dead computer moat around the core data. That should stop it. Now, there's no connection between the core data and the rest of the system. Which should leave us enough time to retrieve the core data safely. Guys, guys, the virus has just jumped the moat. That's not possible. I'm telling you, have a look, it just happened. Maybe our diagnosis is wrong. You mean it's not a computer virus? Maybe the problem's not electronic, but something physical. Is there some physical link between all these computers? There's a self-contained cooling system which ventilates the entire network. It's not a computer virus at all. It's an airborne infection. Airborne? Like germs. I mean, something in the air in that cooling system is physically attacking the computers. But, Ross, these computers are working. Oh, but they're not served by the same cooling system. Which proves our thesis. Yeah, but we're running out of time. Three minutes until the core data is compromised. If only there was a way to physically remove it. Why is that a problem? You lose the data if you just pull the memory chips from the mainframe. Not in our case. Our mainframe uses a dynamic RAM with its own power source. What? Cool bananas. In that case, we can just use brute force. The core data is on level 10. And with all these systems failures, our lifts are out. Ed, you are on the 10th floor. 10 floors? There's no lift. Ed, you better get going. Can't we shut down the cooling system and stop the infection spreading that way? Well, not from here. But there is a manual access to the cooling system in the basement. I'm onto it. Basement. I'm just locating the cooling system controls. Got it. I was on the core data site. Deactivating. Now. Have we done something wrong? No, no. It's just the alarm letting us know that Beckett's turned off the cooling system. It's OK, then. Not really. Without the cooling system, that data bank will overheat and explode. Great. I love a challenge. Well, I found the memory chips. They're on... They're on three motherboards. Right. That's the data bank. Pull the boards and get the hell out of there, Ed. What is taking you so long? Oh, this, this third board just doesn't want to come. Still making money for us? Currency speculation. If you know the markets, you can quickly double your investment. I haven't a clue what you're actually doing. What does this one mean? That's the level of our profit so far. There's your gymnasium, and that's the staff swimming pool. And what happens when the column reaches here? Anything. Everything. Guys, the Monetary Commission is functioning again. Cool. Why would someone use this to try and close it down? The Commission stores the bullion reserves and regulates the currencies for the former Eastern Alliance states. The only people who might profit from a collapse in those currencies are international speculators. Big banks, organised crime. Ah, nothing new there then. <laughs> now here's something interesting in the online global bank registry. 
A speculator called Maximilian Christo has been buying up significant amounts of the Baltic mark. What's so special about that? Well, the ruble, the lev, the zloty and the foreigns are all regulated by Vanguard's outfit. But not the Baltic mark. It's the only one of the Eastern European currencies which opted out of the Commission's authority. So if the attack had been successful and all these other currencies had gone down, the Baltic mark would have survived. Even in the 40 minutes the system was offline, the Baltic mark went up 10% in value. If that continued, this Christo would have made a huge profit. Sounds like a good motive to me. There's something else odd about our Mr. Christo. He's recently acquired a company called BioGrow, a biochemical research outfit. Biochemistry? What's he going to do with that? BioGrow are into bioengineering. They manufacture microorganisms. In other words, germs and bacteria and microbes and stuff. Well, maybe that's the answer. BioGrow may have developed... Well, they may have developed some kind of computer-eating bacteria. Oh, come on, Ed, please. You know, that's not such a wild idea. I mean, there are billions of naturally occurring microbes. Some eat plastic, some concrete. Well, why not one that feeds on computers? Yes. Can we get started? I'm afraid you've rather caught us on the hop. We had no warning of an inspection. Well, that's the whole idea. Does the Biohazard Safety Council like to surprise people? Where would you like to begin? I guess the main lab would be the perfect place to start. You've nothing to hide, have you? One of us should have done it. No, he's quite convincing as a scientist. He's doing fine. Let's take a closer look at this, shall we? I'm Miss Pike. I'm sure you have more important things to do. In the main lab, we find waste disposal systems meeting CGEE standards 245. And toxin management systems also conforming to current international Well, there is some kind of biological residue in the shell. Whatever infected the cooling system certainly came out of here. Is it a microbe? Can you identify it? Well, it's alive. Oh, I don't believe it. it. Looks like Ed was right. The Commission's computers were attacked by a microbe. Yeah, but what kind of a microbe can so completely destroy computer systems? Ouch! <laughs> What's the matter? My ring is burning. It's turning black. That's impossible. It's 22 karat gold. Of course. That's how they got at the Commission's computers. All the electrical tracks on each PCB are made of gold. <laughs> this is impossible. Gold is non-reactive. Even acids have no effect on it. That's why it's used in printed circuit boards. Gold is indestructible. Look at it, Ros. It's not indestructible anymore. Claims to be from the Biohazard Safety Council. You don't believe he's genuine? Call it a woman's instinct. Make sure. Test him. Ed, you might not believe this. What we're looking for is a microbe that eats gold. Wouldn't be green, would it? Yes. Thiobacillusauric oxidants? You've got it already? Yeah. Does it eat people too? Everything in order, Dr. Russell? 
Uh, looking good. Just a few more minutes. Dr. Russell, it's just the standard biohazard safety procedure. The shutters automatically react to any toxic release. Very impressive. Shouldn't you get someone to uh, deal with the spillage? The shutters won't rise until somebody does. But since we have a trained biochemist on the spot... Play along, Ed. We'll cover you. Quiet. Can you sublimate a carbon-rich solution in that negative proton accelerator? Of course. You have used a negative proton accelerator? Many times. Oh. Ed, she's talking complete nonsense. There's no such thing as a negative proton accelerator. Quickly, Dr. Russell. Unless you've a better idea. How about a sponge? Looks like your biochemistry isn't what it should be, Dr. Russell. from Ed's microphone, but his transmitter's still active. OK, retune the tracer to that frequency and then we can find him. I'm already on it, Ros. How are you getting on with that microbe analysis? <sighs> it's incredible. It does what we've always thought impossible, forms a gold compound. Well, it, it forms a compound with gold? Seems to. The reaction generates heat, and then, when eventually the correct temperature is reached, a gas is released, auric tetroxide. That's the vapour we saw. The gold is lost forever. It just melts away. How do we fight a microbe, Ross? If I had a pure sample of it, I might be able to create a natural enemy for it, something that would neutralize it. I've got it. Head signal. He's still inside Biograph. Come on, Ross, let's go. Who is he? Someone working for the Commission, I guess. They can't possibly know what we're planning. I wouldn't bet on that, really. Let me take a stab at it. You had a microbe that eats gold. You plan to use it to bring down the East European Monetary Commission by damaging their computers. They sort of destroyed the currencies they control. The Baltic mark, which I understand you guys have bought into in a pretty big way, would then have become the only stable currency in Eastern Europe you guys would have cleaned up. Now have I left anything out? That's really rather impressive. We aim to please. Let me bring you up to date. We're going to make a second attempt, but this time we're not going after the computers. We're going to release the microbe directly into the Commission's gold vault. You'll never gain access. That's, that's maximum security. That's where you're wrong. We've already gained access and have a device in place. What should we do with him now? Kill him, of course. As he has just demonstrated, he knows too much.
They didn't find anything suspicious. Look, it's inconceivable that anything could penetrate vault security. Really? Park and Crystal are adamant they've got a device in place. You have to let us search the vault. We know what we're looking for. We have to take this threat seriously. Okay. Have you found a way to neutralize the microbe? Ross is working on that. Vanguard 71999-K. Oh, computerized. Don't worry, after the incident this morning, I've made sure that all the computer circuit boards have been replaced with non-gold track. So now... We just wait. No. We buy up any further Baltic marks we can. I have a feeling their value might increase very rapidly in the next few hours. What about our friend? Is he there yet? Close. Very close. Scanning. Retinal scanner. I need that. I need All systems in the vault are automated. No temptation for any of the staff, then. They never see the vault. So it seems. I had no idea the Eastern Alliance countries were so rich. You'd be amazed how much gold bullion you need to back up even the smallest currencies. Right, let's get started. How are you going to find their device? With one of these. Now, he's in the vault. They must have booby trapped your recorder when they captured you. It was a setup. They wanted me to escape. Run! It'll see us in! Hey. Right. Head inside. We've got to open the door. It's impossible. Stein sealed. He's completely trapped. Beckett, I'm on my way to BioGrow. The only way to find something to kill this microbe is to examine a pure sample of it. Ros, if you're going to start hunting for an antigen, aren't you talking serious science? Let's hope they've done some of the groundwork already, then. Any luck with overriding that time lock and opening the vault door? No, I'm in the vault control room now. When the alarm went off, it switched all systems to automatic. I can't seem to access them. Surely there's a backup. Yeah, well, you're going to love this. There is an override key, but it's kept safely off-site by the security consultant. Oh, brilliant. Amateurs. Yeah. Look, Ros, I've got to get back to you, OK? They're sending someone over with it right away. I don't think we can wait. Ros's tests show that the reaction is reversible if caught soon enough. But there is a critical point, after which I'm afraid your gold is lost forever. How much time do we have? Well, Ros's ring heated up to 120 degrees before the auric tetroxide was formed. Auric what? <laughs> it's the gaseous gold compound. Well, we can use this heat detector. It's part of our intruder alarm. Anything over 35 degrees shows up as red. Normal room temperature is blue. Some of the gold is already showing as green or yellow. Yeah, well, the reaction started and heat's being produced. But it's not yet reached the critical stage. 
Yes, but how much time have we got before we lose the gold? The computer projection. Around 27 minutes. What about that patch of red? That's it. Thankfully, the hottest thing in the vault by far. The gold's heating up, guys. It's starting. teach Is there anything you can do to stop the microbes spreading? Beckett, it's invisible. What do you want me to do? I mean, if only I could cool it down a bit. Let me have a look what's in here. The hell is that? Oh, no! What's wrong? The threat analyzer has profiled Ed as an intruder. That's the motion detection and disabling unit. Disabling? A euphemism. It activates after someone has been in the vault longer than ten minutes without authorization. No, Ed! Faster than half a centimetre per second. It stopped just in time. It fired at the position it thought he would be in. Yes. But can't we just switch it off? It's on automatic, like all our intruder systems. I told you, they're absolutely tamper-proof. Even the doors to the main power room are sealed to prevent any defences from being switched off by an intruder. If only we could switch the systems from automatic back to manual. We'd regain control, get access to the vault. There must be some other way into the main power room.
These pipes lead to the main power room, but they can't help you. Why not? What's in them? Exhaust gases from our heating and ventilation systems. We're a long way from fresh air down here. But lower the pressure and open this hatch. I'm going through these pipes down to the main power room. I'm going to switch systems to manual and deactivate the alarm system from there. You'll never make it. There's billions of pounds worth of gold about to disappear down there. Now what happens if they succeed, eh? The economies of six countries wiped out. 150 million people reverting to a subsistence economy. Then I'll have to make it, won't I? Yeah, but these exhaust gases are toxic. You won't be able to breathe. Yes. Beckett, I've isolated an antigen. It'll save the gold, but it needs reconfiguring. Well, how quickly can you get it here? First, I have to make it in sufficient quantity. That vault should be heating up nicely by now. And in a few hours, so should the Baltic Mark. Good night. Good night. Why is power consumption in the main lab so great? What's this you've cooked up? Uh, an antigen for your gold-eating microbe. Something that will neutralize it in seconds. Shame we can't allow you to test that little hypothesis. Look! Uh, now, if you kindly give me that container of antigen. Thank you. Whatever happened to your scientific curiosity? Got overtaken by an interest in getting rich. She's closed the door! You'll have to direct me. All right. I'll use the system schematic. Beckett. Beckett. Roz, Beckett's trying to get our systems back to normal. Can you patch me through to Ed? 
Sure. Ed, I'm on my way with enough antigen to neutralize the microbe and save the gold. I'll introduce it into the vault through the fire control system, but I can't do that until you're out of there. Why is that? Although the microbe itself isn't harmful to humans, my antigen is. I created it by reconfiguring the microbe to digest carbon compounds on a self-limiting life cycle. It'll attack the microbe, but it'll also hit anything organic that gets in its way. Which, in this case, is you. Great. Let me get this straight. If you can't get this door open, it's me or the gold. Ed, it'll never come to that kind of choice. Beckett must get you out of that vault. Okay, I'm at the top of the vertical. Where next? Turn to the right in 20 feet. I see it. Now that next section will take you into the main power room. How's the gold bearing up? The microbe is spreading. Over half the gold is now affected, but none of it shows as red yet. We still haven't lost any. How long have we gone? Computer projection now. Ten minutes. access to the main power room. Well, how far from it am I? The access hatch is about 30 feet away. Well, I won't be able to fit if I take off the compressed air. Well, how will you breathe? Well, I won't. I'll hold my breath. in the vault? Yes. And where's Beckett? Release it now, we'll kill Ed. The gold could go critical almost any minute. Where the hell's that consultant? He arrived just minutes after you did. This way, please, sir. Miss Vanguard is just in here. Thank you very much. Ladies, 
I see you've not yet released your antigen into the vault. I wonder why. Oh, your friend, Dr. Russell. He's trapped inside. Back. And in a few moments, all that gold will be gone. And I will be very, very rich. And all of Eastern Europe's economy is utterly devastated. Roz, you must. What a nice dilemma for you. Move away from that control. Now. Now! Thank you, it would have been fine. Thanks, guys. You shouldn't have. Well, actually, uh, we didn't. Uh, I told Miss Vanguard that your old ring was like this treasured heirloom been in the family for over 200 years. Well, it was the least she could do. After we saved all her gold. Hmm, I suppose. Pity she couldn't run to a whole bar or two. Imagine what you could do with that kind of wealth. Yeah, I'd go for the big yacht. House on the beach in the mm. tropics, private plane. Me? I'd buy art. You're kidding. 
Ed, since when have you been interested in paintings? Paintings? You said anything about paintings? Classic motorcycles were not for Monday. Brilliant. The experts suggested investing in Baltic marks, but the expected collapse in the other currencies never happened. You were right. Not me, Governor. You know what impresses me most, John Daniel? It's not just the work you do for the prison, it's your generosity of spirit. Oh, sir. I'm talking about the forgiveness you're prepared to show to those three people who put you here. You even bet on their success. Those three. Yes. Admirable. I'm supporting a move to have your sentence cut in half. Remind me, how long do we have you for? 140 years. One thing I've learned in here, Governor, is always look to the future and hope. Tell me, what exactly happens when that column on your computer reaches its target? Oh, I guarantee. When the red line reaches the top, well, your job will suddenly get a lot more interesting.